Hey Assassins, this is Wheel and welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. If I sound a little bit scared, it's because currently stood behind me is a very, very, very tall clown. This is how to build Pennywise in Minecraft. Oh my goodness me, this is honestly one of the most terrifying things I've ever built in Minecraft. And I didn't think that Minecraft could get any more scary than, say, fighting the Wither or something like that in survival. Um, but apparently so, I just kind of beat that. <laughs> and, um, wow. But, this is packed with details for such a, um, quite skinny tutorial. Um, Pennywise here does actually have quite a lot of details on the inside of his body as well as, of course, the outside. Uh, so if we actually just kind of spin around here, of course we have the big red balloon. You can't have Pennywise without a red balloon. I mean, that's kind of his, how he entices people to come near him. So we need that red balloon in there. His mouth is obviously, of course, detailed. So we've got, like, lines of teeth in there, like the many teeth that he does have when he gets really sort of uh, aggressive. Then we have, of course, his clown sort of paint, his uh, hair, and then in the back of his head, we go down his sort of spine, just here, past all his ribs, and into his his kind of gut down here. And Georgie is sit chilling. <laughs> he's sat chilling in here with his red balloon. Uh, now that little Easter egg just there is actually from my original uh, it tutorial, and in that tutorial, I taught you guys how to build the it mansion. Now I'll drop a link to that in the description below and there'll also be a card on the top right side of the screen. So if you want to build that, beam on over there and get started with that one too. But yeah, let's grab the materials we need and get building Pennywise in today's Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, so guttingly I've had to switch it to daytime just so we can actually see what we're doing. But if you want to go ahead and take yourself some of these materials, black concrete, some white terracotta, some black banners, red wool and finally some acacia wood. We're going to go ahead and start with Pennywise's feet down here. So, take yourself a nice big space. As you can see, um, his body doesn't really go any wider than that very sort of strange looking uh, part to his trousers. Because uh, you can see the hair sticks out maybe one block there. Um, but other than that, it's the same sort of width and dimension. So don't really take yourself too big a spot, but uh, you will need enough in height. So we're going to go ahead and start with our shoes. So we'll go ahead and build like a block here of black concrete. With three behind it we're going to leave a gap of three one two three and on four we're going to build another one the exact same these are going to be nice and symmetrical so of course make sure you get everything nice and symmetrical in here stick red wool on the top of these ones the singular ones then we're going to build white terracotta behind for three like so then stick a block of black in the middle on both sides then we're going to do like a, a double stacked up so like a sixth block here stacked up for two like so, here as well, oops, my mistake, like so, looking good, then we'll stick ourselves another black concrete on both sides like so, then we'll take black banners and go one, two, three, one, two, three, for Pennywise's clown shoes, very cool, awesome, looking good so far, brilliant, I'm just going to switch my picture around, so around this side again, we're going to go ahead and build another lot of six, but this time just going up for the two layers. So three for two layers, like so. Then we'll come down here, and now we have a total of about four blocks of white terracotta. We build a strip of three just in here with a block on the back. A strip of three, a block on the back, oops, in the middle. Then we'll do ourselves another three terracotta, another three terracotta. Sorry, another one, <laughs> what am I saying? like so on both sides and then we're going to go ahead and leave a gap of two just here so we actually have one two then it'll be on this one so basically a block back from that uh, black concrete if i just show you over here you can see that we actually stick a black concrete back there but it's not got any banners on which makes it a little bit confusing from a builder's perspective but when you're looking at this as you know a normal statue and you're just sort of viewing it you can't really notice can you you can't really tell so it's really really clever and a uh, very cool looking design. So we'll do that just here. Then we'll do another three just here with a block on the back. Three and a block on the back. So it kind of goes up in almost like a jester style shoe. Pretty cool stuff. Now we must go ahead and actually surround this with acacia. So we're going to come out on the sides. We're going to come out on the back for one. Out on the back for one. Here for one. And then the two across here. Then the front here will go for one. We'll go for the one that is going to go over that front sort of shoe just like so, it's the front uh, lace I guess you could say. 
So you should have a shape that looks like this. We'll do the same over here. Just going to do that for now, then I'll add in my blocks. So that one, that one, that one, two here, one here, one on the back, one there, and two just here. So there we go, looking pretty fancy. Now you build these up for two layers. So you just build them up for a second layer on both sides, like this. Making sure everything is looking good. Brilliant. And now if we run over here really quickly, you can see we carry on the banners again, except these ones actually kind of go into the block above. So we're going to use a little bit of a Minecraft sort of trick here to get them to go in there. So we're going to build in the middle up for about three. One, two, three. So for two blocks, up for three, like so. Now we're going to build out, so we're covering up this one, these two, this one, and these two. Two there, one here, two here, and then one there. Awesome. And next we take our black banners and stick them there, there, one, two here. Kind of go a little bit diagonal when you're building the diagonal ones, if possible, so they go back into the body, like so. So it's a little bit strange, I know, but once you get it looking there, it's going to be great. So, plonk these all down, like so. Then we're going to take our acacia again, build this middle bit up for another layer, just so that it goes to the height of the banners. And then we'll go through the banners, just here. Now be careful not to place them anywhere else but across the banners. It can be a little bit awkward because if you place them you know, too much then they're going to start to connect so just be wary of that but it should be pretty simple. And there we go. Awesome Pennywise now has some shoes. That is great. So next for the legs and for Pennywise's kind of <laughs> the top of his legs the big fluffy sort of looking part. Well, I don't want to say fluffy but it's not really in the movie. I'm kind of <laughs> same fluffy as if it's like a unicorn. Uh, when we know that Pennywise eats kids, so yeah, <laughs> let's not sugarcoat him. Um, so anyways, we're going to take ourselves the acacia again. We're now going to go ahead and build up for about five blocks uh, from this position. So we've got number one here, two, three, four, five, just on both sides. Remember to get them nice and symmetrical. These legs are going to be, you know, very, very much the same. Uh, pretty much the same with the rest of the body as well, apart from that hand kind of comes out to hold the balloon. So um, yeah, it's pretty helpful for us and um, gets everything done uh, very nicely. So in here we're going to build up for the 4, just so we can get them to the 5 height like so. Then we'll build 3 in here, on both sides, like so. I'm actually going to build my 3 upper blocks, so I'm going to knock that one out on both sides and just build this one up another block, like so. What we're going to do next is kind of build like outwards uh, for that bit there, you can see of course it makes it 3D. So um, the reason we chop off the one below and add it on the top is because we actually build in like a section here. And then once we build these in, it sort of covers up the whole fact that it's 2D. So um, it makes sense. We're adding the block just here. Then we're adding one just there and one just coming out for now on its own. Awesome. Now that connects the trousers. That is really, really helpful for us. The next thing you want to do is kind of go around the corner and just start building these up to the five blocks. So just add in four to every single block. So coming around to the back, things get a little bit more weird around here because we're gonna go ahead and like uh, sort of make the start of this part, but it's a lot fatter on the back as you can tell. <laughs> so um, we need to go ahead and make that just from the back instead of starting from the front. So we'll place two blocks in here on both sides, just like so. Then we're gonna come up to this one just here and protrude it out for two blocks. So one block, one, two. A block, one, two. Then you build this along to connect up the both sides, like so. You can actually fill in all of you know these sort of separate layers now as well, just so everything is filled in nicely, doesn't you know leave any blocks empty. Same with these three blocks just in there. I believe there is a block in the center just about there. Um, I think that is just about there. Let's just go and check really quickly. I wouldn't usually check with you guys on, but yeah, okay, there's like two in there. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? the two blocks being in there. So um, yeah, you just want to come to the middle two and just add in two just there. Perfect, that's looking great. So back around to the back, go ahead and build out for two. It's like around the body like that. So you kind of leave like no hollowed spaces like that. And then as you get around this side, just add in the two. Uh, we've already done that on that side, it's perfect. And then to connect around to the front, 
we just basically continue this going around. So if you look down here, it just goes around and then it goes into that archway for the uh, the front of the trousers. So here, round to there, round to here, and then as we get to this one, you want to come out another block forward. So you go over that middle one on its own. You're going to drop back in, but we're not actually going to connect back in. So just drop back in just so it's not hollow anymore. And then we're going to start to like layer this up. So we'll go in for like another one just here and here. And also build this back whilst you're doing it. Again, just so there's no layers and holes in our, our Pennywise. Then of course we need one over the top. So do one block in there. One, one. Like so. So you've got that arch going for you just in there. Looking awesome guys. Fly up to the top. See how you're looking. Should be looking quite hollow on the inside. Um, but it does actually have like a really complex looking shape. So if you need to pause the video here just to go and check yours the same, um, please of course feel free to do so. And if you do want to fill these in, it doesn't have to be hollow, not at all. So yeah, that's looking great so far. So the next thing to do is build every single one of these blocks up to four blocks in height. So we have got one here. We'll go for two, three, four. And just going to go ahead and smooth out the entire strange oval shape just in here. Just up to those four blocks in height. And then what we can do is sort of layer it back in as almost if we were building a cake. Um, and then that goes in for Pennywise's torso. So build these up like so. Then go ahead and add in like a layer on the inside. You can actually smooth over this entire layer. That might actually be much easier for us. So you're not going to use the trousers for anything. Um, unless of course you wanted to. But on my one I'm going to keep it nice and hollow. And just smooth it over. Like so. Next I'm going to go ahead and build these sort of back in and um, up a little bit. So for the middle one here, I'm going to leave two blocks on here and go one, two, three, four, five, like so for the middle. Then I'll go behind this and add in one, two, and one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, and then I think on the back it's the same as the front. Oh no, it just goes the entire way around. So we'll place a block just there. Then we'll go for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven block here, and then the five. Sorry, the four across the side there. So yeah, that's looking awesome. As you can tell, that is the exact same, just double checking, but yeah, looking super cool. Okay guys, so I'm over at Penny, not Pennywise because the wise part comes in the brain, and of course we haven't even built the head yet, so this is just Penny. <laughs> We're gonna take ourselves some polished bow salt, or ball salt, or something like that, some salt, <laughs> some chiseled deep slate, some acacia wood again, some tough, some cobbled deep slate stairs, some cobbled deep slate, some smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz blocks, and finally a smooth quartz slab as well. Let's go ahead and build Pennywise's torso. So, we're going to take ourselves first of all, our, let's go for the acacia first. Just add in a layer just here, two here, one, two, three there, and then across the back for the seven, and I'll do my four across here as well. Just to be adding in like a little bit of a gap. I'll just do one there as well. And that gap is going to be for adding in our blocks on top. I'm going to place a temporary polished bar salt just here. Then run this along for the five blocks out the front. And then I'm going to run it above just another block. And then five here. And then I'm going to take out those two. I'm going to do the same here. Just adding in a nice two layers like that. And because of the direction, you know, we have to sort of place a block to then get the direction right. So I'm just going to do two, two more temporaries over here, and then the full ones. Then around the side we actually do ourselves a couple normal, uh, just straight sort of lines. So I'm going to do, um, let's do a block here. One, two, three, it's for two lots. Then in here as well I'm going to do one around the corner. So, oops, just going to need to put in another acacia. Two more, that's like just temporary. Two on the side like so. And then we'll do ourselves a couple along the back. So two temporary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's go for five just there. Stacked up for two. Knock out them. Place our temp in here. Place two more in here. Oops, we could keep the temp for a second so we can do these three stacked up for two. Just around the side, like so. So Pennywise's torso is quite skinny compared with his sort of trouser line down here, I guess. Um, and the bow side, it's really important to get these directions going because at the sides, of course, we don't really see um, much of it. We're looking at this face on. And even on the sides there, you can't really notice it too badly, uh, the different direction. 
so that's really really helpful to uh, to get us going there. Um, if we take ourselves our chisel deep slate now, we're going to stick a block just down here. We're going to build a acacia up for about six blocks in height. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll do six for these ones as well. Four, five, six. Then we're going to do ourselves a block um, of uh, chisel deep slate at the top here, in the middle of the five. Drop down until you're about two blocks up from the ground. So we'll go for two blocks up. One, two, on three, place in a block. And then you should have a three block gap between these two. And also these two as well. But you've got, you know, the uh, basalt just here. Yeah, it's looking awesome. Now we're going to take our tough and sort of build a 2D shape just for the moment. So we'll add in two blocks on both sides. Two here, two here. Then we're going to go for three. So out on both sides by one block. And then we'll do like a layer of five across the top, like so. Then also a block in here. Epic. This is kind of like um, Pennywise's collar, I guess. Then we'll do two blocks on the side here. Oops, sorry, that's one block there. Then we'll place a block on the side and up for one. So a block on the side and up for one. Then we're going to do ourselves one, two in here. One, two in there, like, just like so. Epic. Very, very 2D, I know, but it's looking great. If you next want to take yourself your acacia and go up for the six around all of these different um, basalt blocks, of course, the tough is going to kind of cover up some of these blocks. But honestly, that is what you want to happen. That is what we're trying to happen. So that is going to be really good to get this all in there. So acacia up for six on all of these blocks going around Pennywise's torso and his sort of waist here. Brilliant. In the movies, we always see Pennywise in the same outfit, in the same sort of clown gear. Um, apart from in, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. If you haven't seen the second movie, please just mute the video for a second. Um, but if you've seen the second one, you'll know when he changes into that spider thing, uh, that his sort of, obviously his form changes. So his clothes don't really change too much. Um, apart from, I think, like maybe they just get larger or something. But um, that is still creepy. So yeah, that's looking good so far, guys. Now then, we're going to go around the corner. And over here, we're going to add in ourselves a uh, tough sort of one, two, two, three, just there. And then one, two, three, this side. And this will be for our arm. Well, not our arm. This is going to be for Pennywise's arm. So we're going to go ahead and build one, two, three blocks down there. And three blocks this side. Awesome. We're going to keep this nice and symmetrical until we get to the actual hand, uh, where we're going to have to build the sort of... Um, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but like the part just before the wrist needs to come sort of forward for that uh, left hand, Pennywise's left hand, and then for the right one it's just going to be straight down. So for now we can stick with everything symmetrical. So here on the three, build down for another three, and then build this up for, oops, sorry, two blocks just here. So we're going to go for one, two, three, one, two, like so. Epic. Then we're going to go behind this and add in ourselves two blocks. Like so, and then up for two. Awesome. And then we'll do the same on this side. Two blocks, two blocks, up for two. Like so. Then we're going to place in ourselves two blocks in here and up for two. Two blocks in here, up for one layer, but it is two blocks. That's what I meant to say. Like so. Then we'll also add in two blocks here and two. Two blocks and two, just like so. Get it all up to that same shape, then it looks really, really cool. Brilliant. <laughs> he's looking like he's got T-Rex arms at the moment, but we'll fix that up in a moment. So add in a four block square just here, and one on the other side as well. Then add in your two on the back. So two on the back just here. Next, we're going to go ahead and build the sort of back going here by adding in one, two, three blocks, and then one, two, three blocks as well. So one, two, three, one, two, three, just like so. Cool. Then on the side here, we're going to go ahead and add in tough for two and then two two and then oops sorry two as well this side as well two and then two two and then two then along the back we need to do a row of five for two layers and then come out for the two layers of five like so so it's got that really really 3d look and the block there here five across the top and one two just there nice so you've actually got the neck in there already so that's looking really cool, and that's going to be very helpful for us. 
Now I just want to double check this. In this little gap down here, I'm just going to add in two blocks. Well, kind of a four cluster like so. Then just build down for two for both of them. Just to, you know, not leave any holes basically. So the four blocks, so two there, two here, one, two, one, two. Like so. So from the underside, it looks like a little bit of a um, suction cup. <laughs> and then we're going to make that into the arm in a second. So we're going to go to the left arm first of all. If you're facing from the front side, it's going to be the one on the right holding the balloon. So we're going to build ourselves a cobbled deep slate, sort of four block cube just here, coming down from the arm, like so. Uh, we can actually copy this on the other side as well. It's actually the same. That's nice and helpful. And then what we'll do is we'll take our cobbled deep slate stairs and we're going to add them across the diagonal side like this. It's a little bit awkward on this side. But you've got to get it facing, you know, the normal way a stair would go. Just like so. All the way around, just so it looks like it's coming down. And, uh, you know, again, it's slightly skinnier than the previous part of the arm. Then we'll add in our cobbled deep slate around underside of all of these stairs. Like so. So once again, we're kind of buffing it out a little bit more. But uh, you've got that differentiation between the tough and then the deep slate just down here. So that's cool. Okay, now down here, taking yourself your acacia wood again. We're going to go down from the, the middle four. Go down on the back for one, two, three for both layers. Then the front will be for four. So that is actually really close to, you know, the body. But that is fine. That's kind of what we're going for just here. If you look over here, you can see that it's almost touching. Um, in certain sections, it's diagonally touching. But it never actually connects apart from that one block there. So that's really, really useful to know and very, very helpful for us as uh, builders to get everything looking how it should be. So next, take yourself your tough again. We're going to go to this block and add in two. Then I'm going to stick myself a block here temporarily and add in one, then drop down for two. Block here temporarily and add in one, and then one here, and then two blocks up this side. Now then, I think I may have doubled this up, but um, I'm just going to go double check things. I'll be right back. So yeah, we do double up the tough just here, like so, because then we're going to take ourselves our smooth quartz stuff. We're going to go ahead and build a four cluster here, another four cluster here, a block here with a stair on top. Then we'll have to stick a block in here temporarily to build one outwards, diagonally away from this one. Knock out the temp block and stick a slab on top of this one. So it looks like Pennywise's fingers in his glove comes around the ears. I want to say the <laughs> the stem, I was going to say, but the string of the balloon. So that's perfect. Now for the other one, slightly more simple. We're going to go ahead and take our acacia again. We're going to go into a four cluster, just like so. Add in two blocks here, and then a four cluster on the side, like so. Then we'll take ourselves our tough and build down for a cluster of four. And build out for two. On all four sides. Even if it connects to the body here, still go for it, like so. Then for the hand down here, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead, uh, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and use ourselves our quartz materials by sticking in a slab just here, a stair behind that one. Um, then we'll do two blocks here with stairs facing towards the body upside down. So now we are on to our final section where we're going to take ourselves end stone brick stairs, some red concrete, some smooth quartz block some red concrete powder, some stream light, some white concrete, some red wool, some smooth quartz stairs, and finally the tough once again. So then, the thing to do is we're going to go ahead and build Pennywise's face. Let's take ourselves tough and go for these five blocks along the front just here. And then we're going to go ahead and take ourselves red concrete, building one, two, three just here. Then we're going to build ourselves seven blocks of tough behind in that layer, sticking ourselves a block of uh, smooth quartz just here and one here. Then we can take this going up through an, another block on both sides and then take your red concrete and build out for blocks on both sides. Then we're going to go ahead and take our smooth quartz and stick a block just here with one coming out to the, the right side and knock that one off. So just here and up to the left side, knock that one off. Awesome. Place your red concrete here, here, one up on both sides, and then one back in on both sides. Copy it with the quartz. 
like so. So we're building Pennywise's mouth now. Then we're going to go ahead and stick ourselves a block of concrete just, sorry, quartz on both sides just there. With red concrete powder out from them and above our red concrete. Then we'll take a layer of red concrete through three, like so. And then quartz behind it for three. We're next going to take our end stone brick stairs and place in ourselves one, oops, sorry. Um, let's figure this out really quickly. Ah, I see what I've done. So we're going to go ahead and place one block here and one block here where the quartz was. Curve this in for those three. So it looks like a huge sofa. <laughs> then we're going to take ourselves upside down one just here and go in along to this other side over here, like so. And then we'll place a normal three up here, um, which is going to be upside down as well, like that. If you want to curve them when you go back into the quartz up here, just come to the back and do that over there, this side as well, just there. Zip around to the front, check how it looks, looking creepy, looking awesome as well. Brilliant. You could actually swap the bottom ones down here for actual endstone um, brick blocks, like I did in my original one. To be honest, I prefer this version. I think it looks a lot more like teeth and not just kind of gaps in his mouth, you know. So on, on this side, I prefer this version. That looks a lot more open. So back to doing our 2D Pennywise face. Let's go ahead and take our quartz and stick one block just here and here. Then we'll stick ourselves a row that is going to go above all of these blocks here for five. We'll stick a red concrete out from the front just by one. Then we're going to go ahead and build in ourselves up for a block of concrete just here and here. A block here as well. The nose is going to be on top of uh, the red nose. So we just add in two blocks. We're going to come behind this one and add in one two, three, four blocks, like so, and that is going to be the major height of Pennywise's head. Take yourself your white concrete and go ahead and stick one, two, and three just here. One, two, and three just here. We'll stick stream lights here and one just here. Then we'll stick red concrete powder just there, 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 oops, there and there, my bad. So if we zip around the front, it looks like this, very, very weird. But then we want to go ahead and finish up the face by taking smooth quartz block up for two blocks past that white concrete. Same on this side. Stick yourself your concrete powder in for two blocks on both those sides. Fill in the concrete, sorry, the uh, quartz in just there for those two. Then add in a row of five on the top, like so. Amazing. Looking super good, guys. If you want to build this one back for quartz now and up, that would be good to do as well, because then we're going to build the ears in a second that also go on the second block back, as you can see. So the ear is going to start, so the second block back, uh, from the concrete powder. We're going to stick ourselves a block down from the concrete powder here, and upside on stair, on both sides. Then we'll go ahead and build this going up for a total of one, two, three blocks of quartz. One, two, three, and then double the whole thing back, even the stair. For a total of four blocks like so now i'm actually going to try and leave the head as hollow as i can um, just so we can build the inside later um, but for now we want to come down to the side down here and when we sort of added in the face just going to add in a block there and a block on this side as well so it kind of surrounds the smile there which is perfect then we're going to build ourselves one two three four five six and seven blocks here so it kind of comes around the neck there and then as we get around this side, we're going to go ahead and double up these two blocks just in here, uh, like so. So we kind of have like a bit of a gap there, as you can see on that side. And this one's going to go up and just past the ear. So that covers up that little gap. Same on this side here. Then we'll build this up to the ear. <laughs> a nice and rhyming thing there, like so. You can also do this past the ear because, well, most of it's going to be covered up by hair. But if you just want to make it look whole then uh, that would be good to do as well. Have a bold Pennywise. There you go. That's actually really creepy bold, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> that is really, really scary. Um, then we'll go ahead and round the back here. Just want to add in ourselves a block that goes here. So a temp one there. Block that goes here. Temp one on that side. Removed. And then we're going to do our three. So one there and one this side. And leave that gap in the middle empty. Build these ones up to the height of your choice. I'm going to go just up to the height of my 
other two sides where we go up and stop just there. This side as well. Up, up, up. There we go, like so. And you can actually close up the head now by making it almost like a shark fin design or like a fish design like so on the top. <laughs> That's a bit creepy. Um, and then we'll add in the hair in a second. The hair is definitely the hardest part of this tutorial. It's going to be a little bit of a nightmare. So now then, this is the part in the tutorial that I'm going to let you guys go mostly crazy with this. Which is awesome because crazy and clown go hand in hand. However, the front is going to be the same as my one. Um, because the front is kind of what gives this whole thing its really, really creepy and menacing looks. And also to make it look like Pennywise. On the back we've gone for like a human torch look. <laughs> where it looks like he's on fire. Um, which you guys can keep as well if you wanted to. But um, I'm going to go ahead and build the front side, first of all, by going up for one, two, three, four across the ear um, on both these sides. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to turn this in just here. Then I'm going to go across the top to connect them both up just by a block like so. Then the center, I'm going to go for one, two, three, four, five, and just build two, a block back up on the left side, like so. Oh, sorry, on the right side but going back into the left. So it looks still strange. <laughs> That's fine. Once we go ahead and like actually start to make this look 3D, honestly it looks better than this. Um, so we're going to come down here and next to this sort of uh, stair just here, build this one right up. We're going to go right up to... Let's just go right up to that block there. Yeah, for now that looked great. And then you can actually bring your sort of hair here going up and stopping just there. Same on this side. It goes up uh, like a little bit from the rest of the ear. So it starts like on the top of the block and then goes up, just stopping there. Now there's a block back here. So I'm just gonna add in a block there and drop this one down the ear and just stop just above the ear like so. So we're gonna go a little bit different from the original one, the other side. Now around here as well, I'm gonna go ahead and dope, uh, duplicate this out. <laughs> Duplicate this out by adding in one block, two, three, four, five, like so. Cool, getting that really clown hair in there. Massive hair. Then around here as well, I can add in one, two, three, four blocks, like so. Cool. Okay, so from now on, you guys can go a little bit mental with this. As long as you have this design at the front, as you can see, it really looks like Pennywise now. Um, but that, that is kind of like the, the only appealing feature that we need to get in there all together. So um, as far as the back goes, just go ahead and take your quartz down, leaving a two block gap for a doorway. Sounds weird saying a doorway on a person. Just adding a block there as well. Awesome, the rest of it, let's go to town with. If I go ahead and spin around this slowly, you can sort of pause in the sections you need to, and then uh, start to build this as well. Like I said, no real technique. You come out at least three or four layers from Pennywise's skull, and just go a bit crazy, adding in clown hair, wherever you must go. Okay, awesome. And as for the top, it's quite flat. It literally stays the same dimension as this one just here. This is your top dimension. These two blocks on here. Alright guys, you got this. I believe in you. You got this. Definitely comment down below if you need any help. Just uh, ask me any questions down there. Pause as much as you need to. Please remember it's all there. And um, yeah, you can do this. I know it. We got this. Awesome. So now then, you could probably tell that I really didn't have a guide as such when I was doing that. I just went a little bit crazy, used this one as my sort of base uh, inspiration, and then as you can tell, he looks a little bit like a porcupine on the back. <laughs> but on the front, it's still looking like the original, and that whole front sort of part of the hair is literally what makes this Pennywise statue uh, look like Pennywise. So as long as you have the front fringe in there, you can go really mental with the back. So honestly, don't be concerned that yours are looking bad or crazy or whatever because honestly mine is looking at all those things as well so um there's no real technique and no real good way of doing this so please don't worry next we take ourselves some white banners some netherrack some smooth quartz block once again 
some pointed dripstone, some nether warp block, some red concrete, a lightning rod, some yellow shulker boxes, and a shroom light. Now we're going to take ourselves our white banners. We're going to knock out this block that I placed in there because I'm a donut. We're going to go ahead and build smooth quartz along like so. So you end up sort of dropping down here like so. So we're going to kind of drop into a little bit of a stomach area. Now what I'm going to do is kind of knock that block back there. Add in a block here and then stick a stream light on top. So that is just in line with the doorway. I'm going to take my nether rack and I'm going to place two blocks here and two this side as well. I'm going to actually replace that block at the back with two blocks of nether rack as well. I'm going to take myself my banners and I need to somehow place these so that it looks a little bit like it's, you know, surrounding this area, making it look very, very hidden. So I'm also going to take a nether rack here above that stream light and stick one sort of hanging from the ceiling up there. Now, to be honest, on this one I built originally, it, uh, it doesn't look great. I've had to use two of them and you sort of drop down into his tough and then go down because I didn't build you know, the structure hollow originally. Um, but because we have actually done the hollow structure here already, technically all we need to do is add in a little space just here, uh, maybe even with some nerac to place that there, and then maybe one sort of somehow dangling from the ceiling. Um, doesn't have to be accurate, doesn't have to be looking good, <laughs> just as long as you can get something that looks very hidden. That looks quite hidden. And then you can jump in and then get down. That's, that's much better. So that sort of design there. Don't worry about the stream light, we'll replace another one in a second. So once we have that anchored in there, you can sort of find out where there's not an anchor point and place one in. So there's not one just here. So place your stream light just there. Drop on in. And we're going to surround this sort of tunnel here just as some narrow rack. So that you end up dropping down that little chute there and you're into the inside of Pennywise. Here, I would recommend swapping your white banners really quickly and adding in tough. Just on those little gaps where, you know, there are little gaps. Those are not going to be, you know, needed. We don't need those little spaces in there. And then you want to replace your tough with water. Because we can't place a dripstone until we've got the water in here. Um, we could, of course, do that with dry areas. But um, it's really, really awkward to place water when the dripstone is already in place. So we're going to do that sort of in a second. Next, we need to build some rib cages. So I'm going to place just this room like there at the moment. It's not going to be permanent. And just build some rib cages. So just going to go in here. Add in the block there, maybe a couple around here, and then just leave a gap between them and just build ribs. They're going to be four quite a bit, so we're going to do like maybe three, even four of these ribs. I might just go for three because we're kind of coming to the bottom of the trousers. Our oh, crumbs, that's my mistake. Place that in there, grab my water back. Ah, <laughs> it's all going a little bit wrong. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Then here, just the same. If we do find we have too many ribs, we can of course chop this down, but that's actually looking alright so far. If we bump it up a block maybe, then um, we'll definitely have enough space. So build your ribs in here. From straight away when you've ended your tunnel. Your tunnel comes down for only two blocks underneath the tuff. So you've got like the tuff here, then one block, then a second block here, then the stream light, and the stream light connects your ribs together. So we're going to build, like I said, four lots of these ribs. The rib cage is just an important little detail, you know, just to make it look like we're inside of uh, a monster. When you have, like, the cartoon rib cage look, I mean, it just adds a whole different effect to the build, which is great. And there you go. And now you just want to pack out the ribs with some netherrack, just so that there's no acacia sticking through, because that wouldn't really be appropriate. That would kind of ruin the whole thing. Here I'm just going to cover up this so it don't, doesn't get seen. Because again, I don't want anything that doesn't look like a body to be sticking through the inside. Like so. Here like so. Now we drop down this, so keep that stream light in there for now. And now we're just going to bump out certain sections of the ribcage. So just two. So we're sort of making this skinnier as we go down. Like so. Keeping the nether rack there, and this is where we're going to build the whole sort of detail of Pennywise. So, just come up and occasionally just kind of come from the bottom, come down and then look at it and think, oh yeah, that's actually looking great. So you need to just make sure that everything is looking how you want it to look. Now in here, pack out the inside of this stomach area 
with yourself some netherrack and some nether wart um, block as well. Alternate between the two if you want to. I'm just going to do my netherrack first of all and then put my warts in randomly for little sort of blood splatters I guess just around here. So I'm going to have to move this room like just up a block and then do the floor as well. Sorry, the bottom of the stomach, if we're going for realistic. <laughs> awesome. So here on my original one, I didn't really keep the ribs sort of this close. I kind of, uh, I think I may have only put like two ribs in, say, and then like closed up the roof so it was in like a separate compartment for the stomach. But in this one, I'm going to go ahead and just fill up just this part of the uh, rib cage. And then we can stick some dripstone from the roof in a second. For now, stick in your nether quart, no, nether wart, sorry. Random splodges everywhere. Front, back, side, ceiling, everywhere. Just randomly in here, making it look disgusting. You can even do it like in between the ribs, but for the this part, I'm just going to keep it in the stomach. Shroom lights will go just in the wall somewhere, so you can even put one in the rib there, and one here. Then I'm going to stick my water in, so the water is going to go here and here, and then in between those two ribs, and then just pack out the entire thing with water to make sure that everything is all good that's fine come up to the top try and get it to be level if you can slightly awkward because we've got like quite a hollow area but it's not really too much trouble and then just stick your dripstone in where you want to even bend it down a little bit like bring it down you might have to fill up the water underneath of it because it gets a bit troublesome like that and then we're going to stick georgie on this side so this is actually the right side when you come in uh, we're going to stick him in the corner just by placing two of these shulker boxes like so. A lightning rod is going to go from a red concrete block here like so. So we're going to try and get it with the handle part of the lightning rod facing the top of it like so. It's so the faster side like that. And then the water goes there like that. Georgie is kind of lit up by that stream light up there. That's looking cool. And then I might just add in a couple blocks over here just so it looks like it's kind of a bit crowded in uh, this whole stomach. It's not really the most roomy of places. So that looks really neat. And then uh, you can add in a bit more light just by adding some shroom lights, random spots around the place as well. Then finally put your dripstone in the bottom to get this whole thing looking cool. Oh, I didn't realize it connected from the floor. That's cool. Make sure your water's all nice and packed out still. Fly up, check how it's looking from above. <laughs> It's the smaller things that uh, really do make all the difference in Minecraft. And then try and get out, making sure that you've got enough space to get in and out. And voila. Pennywise himself is completed. Now we just need to build the balloon. Okay, so the next thing is, of course, lastly, the balloon. So we take an end rod and uh, some red concrete. We're going to start down here next to sort of Pennywise's trousers and get the uh, balloon cord, the string, going through here. It's going to be worth 33 blocks in total. So I'm going to come to, where's the gap? Just about there. So I'm just going to come to there, place a random one. Uh, actually, I might place a block, a block here, and then a block just there, temporarily. Now I can take, take my end rods, placing one here, here, and it's going to go up all the way to uh, 33 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oops. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, like so. Awesome. Now, it doesn't really matter the direction of uh, your end rods. They can be facing, you know, uh, with the stumpy part at the end there. Um, but as long as you have, you know, a part you're happy with, then that's all that matters. So take your red concrete now and place 12 blocks above your end rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like so. Now for the balloon, it's very, very 3D. So we're going to come out from the front by a block down here, then out for two, just here. These two are going to go up for another two, then out on the sides for two. Like so, so a block each time. Then we're going to go out here for like five in total, like that. And this five is also going to be worth five blocks. Two, three, four, five, like so. Go back in for three and go back up for one. Awesome. 
Now we're going to go ahead and pack this out. So we add in two blocks there, and two blocks the other side. Now we're going to build this one, just going up and stopping just before we reach the 12th block in the middle. Then we'll build this one out, and then we'll build this one out for five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like so, all oh, my bad, six. Then we're going to go ahead and add in ourselves a block here, like so. And we'll add in a block there. We'll go for the blocks just here. We'll add in six just here, like so. We're going to add in ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six blocks just there. Then one, two, three, four, five blocks just here. Five blocks on this side after the six. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go ahead and add in a five just here on the side again with a block there, a block here, and then you can actually pack that one out on the top. Here, here, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with a five. Like so. So the balloon is actually going to be like a width of three out on both sides. What, what I mean by three is one, two, and three. And we don't go any more than that. The actual total width of the front is five blocks. And the width of the side is going to be around, uh, well, it's just going to be the one block there. And then five on the back as well. So now we have like a 2D balloon in here. Just at the top here. And in three. And then one block. Like so. You don't even have to add in the one. To keep it three. And also keep this one three as well if you wanted to. Up to you guys. That looks quite cool. Now on the back we do the same. So we're just going to pack this out. One, three, five, seven. Seven goes up for five blocks. Like so. Then the five. Then the three. Then we'll do three. Five. Five goes down for five. And then three. Then one. Like so. So the 3D balloon is in there now looking awesome that is how to build pennywise in minecraft thank you very much assassins for watching all of this video i really really do appreciate it uh also thanks very much for um now making me have two pennywises on my world that's just awesome thanks a lot if uh, there's any demonic activity or like someone trying to eat me or something like that uh then i'm definitely gonna blame you guys because that's just uncool <laughs> no to be honest i'm not scared of clowns uh clowns are completely fine to me but um, nuns, I have a really big fear of nuns, thanks to the conjuring and uh, the nun in that one. So Valak, thanks a lot. Uh, that's why I didn't do a nun tutorial this year, because that is literally my one and only disgusting fear. Ah, crazy. What is your fears? Let me know down in the comments below. It's the season of fears. Let us all know. Let's try and con conquer them together. If you did enjoy this one though, please be sure to drop a like. That'd be epic. If you're interested in staying tuned for future tutorials and guides, I do have a couple more on the way uh, for spooky season, but it's not actually going to be for Halloween um, because, of course, this is Halloween today. Happy Halloween, ass Assassins. Thank you so much for uh, joining me this Halloween. It's awesome. 2021 has been a uh, pretty hard year for myself so far. So um, it's nice to have another sort of big event to uh, celebrate with you guys. So thank you for giving me the chance to, uh, to do some stuff for you. Thank you for supporting me this entire October. The uploads have been immense. I will be posting in the next few days a sort of timetable of how every single video came out on time and stuff like that. And I'll show you what I did to plan for that. So that's going to be really exciting for you guys to see. And um, hopefully you'll be like, wow, that's that's crazy. So um, maybe, maybe I've learned some things for scheduling and that type of thing this month. So in the future, we can get a lot more uploads out as well. So that'd be great. Um, but until the next time, guys, definitely consider subscribing for future tutorials, like I said. If you want to check me out on my social medias, all the links are in the description below. And, um, yeah, you guys stay safe. Eat lots of treats. Take care. No tricks, of course. Don't trick your neighbours. Not great. Um, but, but definitely eat a lot of sweets. It's always fun. Uh, and um, I will speak to you in November. Take care, assassins. Thank you for an epic October. Peace.